Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're taking a look at the inflatable lounger with mesh by Seagull. This is not a paid promotion. We purchase the products ourselves. It weighs 2.6 pounds. When packaged up, it's not at all square, but our measurements show that it's roughly 13 by 9 by 7. The inflatable lounger comes in a bag that has an adjustable carrying strap. It has a drawstring closure. In the bag, you get the inflatable lounger a fun instruction sheet on how to inflate the lounger, a little stake to stake it out so the wind doesn't blow it away. And four patches. When laid out flat, the full size of the lounger is 102 inches long by 38 inches wide at its widest seating point. And then the little tab to catch extra air at the top is 25 inches wide. Let's put some air in this puppy. Inside the inflatable lounger is a liner that is the portion that actually holds the air. While there are two entry points for the air to help it catch more and distribute it most evenly down and around the lounger, they do connect to one another. So it's just one long sort of U-shaped tube. When you have air filled in the lounger, you close the strips that are at the top and then roll the entry point tube. This entry point tube is different from the other inflatable lounger we tried. This allows you to get more air in and get a little bit snugger fit on the lounger while still keeping its design shape. There's a latch lock on the buckle to help keep it from accidentally coming loose because there is quite a bit of pressure, especially when you have weight on the lounger, put on that buckle. On one side of the lounger, it has this very nice large mesh pocket. As for inflated dimensions, it's roughly about 78 inches long, 32 inches wide, and 21 and a half inches high at the head of the lounger. Seagull makes several different inflatable loungers. This particular one has a polyester material on the outside that they say is scuff resistant. And on the inside, it has a mesh, which is a fantastic difference from the previous inflatable lounger we tested because you don't sink down into this one. You basically rest more on the surface of it and it is much more comfortable 
On the previous lounger we tested, my shoulders felt like they were being squinched in when I laid down in it lengthways. That particular lounger worked best when sitting on it sideways. But with this one, it is ever so comfortable to lay in. It supports up to 400 pounds. They don't say how long it will hold air. It's like the inflation tubes inside are stretching out to their full capacity after it's first inflated. So then it tends to lose a little bit of its uh, tightness. But after you've inflated it several times, it seems not to do that anymore. As far as inflating it, most manufacturers, including Seagull, say to run into the wind to capture air. And you really don't have to do that for very long for it to fill up. And then you can roll it up. And I would suggest actually doing that several times. And that will, again, expand the internal inflation tubes. However, there is only a very slight breeze here today. And I wasn't able to get it to be inflated to a nice comfortable amount so that I wouldn't be sitting basically on the ground. A box fan does an amazing job. So the next time you go on your camping trip, just throw in a box fan, have electricity source, and you're good to go. Truly, this is an incredibly comfortable inflatable lounger, and that's why we got two of them. Because often we like to just look at the stars and we don't want to get a crick in our neck. I also find this much more comfortable than a hammock and you don't have to have trees. It makes for a really nice lounger if you have a little breeze and if you turn putting air into the lounger into something that's entertainment and exercise. Okay, just a little bit of exercise. Down in the comments below, let us know what you think. Have you tried an inflatable lounger? Have you tried one that has the mesh inside yet? This is awesome. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.